Hey, what's up, my fellow collectors? Jim here with another figure review. I'm finally back from vacation. We took the kids to Disney World this past week. Had a great time. Um, but I definitely missed this. So I'm glad I got some toys piled up. So there's a bunch of reviews coming. But tonight I'm taking a look at the SH Figure Arts Captain Jack Sparrow Pirates of the Caribbean figure. Very cool. I'm so excited to have this. It's my first, uh, you know, pirate figure. And, you know, what a way to go. Didn't get, you know, Captain Jack Sparrow. Because very, very... I liked all the Pirates of the um, Caribbean movies. Johnny Depp did a uh, great job playing this character. But let's get into it. The box, you know, it's our standard SH Figure Arts box. A little bit on the wide side. The window is a little bit smaller. And we have this awesome little, like, fog right here in the black pearl. Very, very cool touch. It does kind of hide some stuff, but... Uh, we get a, I'm guessing this is a movie image. I don't think that's the figure. Captain Jack Sparrow, you get Disney, Pirates of the Car Caribbean, Bandai. Top, you get a little bit of the window. It just says Captain Jack Sparrow again. On this side, again, Captain Jack Sparrow. Continuation of the picture on the front. This side, you get a nice image of the figure. On the bottom, you get another little cool image of the figure. On the back, you get the promotional pictures that we saw different faces, accessories, and just a bunch of uh, un unreadable. The only thing we can read is simple style, heroic action. Very cool. But yeah, that is the box. Let's crack this bad boy open. And okay, and here he is all out of the packaging. And guys, SH Figure Arts nailed this Captain Jack Sparrow Johnny Depp figure. It is absolutely amazing. Very, very nice representation of this character spot on really good job um, now as far as accessories he does come with quite a bit you do get his hat which you know looks really nice you know nice detailing in there and all that looks good uh, you do get two compasses you get one that's open a little bit with a little bit of paint detail in the one that's open a little bit of white and gold then you get one that's closed you get his rum bottle which you know came out good Basically like an old-fashioned rum bottle, a little bit of dark, it fades up to the top. Nice colors on there. You get his kind of like strap that she's a sword, which is done pretty, I mean, it's done nice. It's a little bit plain, but you do get a little bit of sculpted detail there on the buckle. You get the continuation of his little, you know, scarf or whatever that is that's hanging off of him. And then you do get the sword that is sheathed, and this is actually just a peg and it will not it doesn't fit the actual sword i tried i mean i guess you i don't know i don't think it's supposed to go in there because it would be a really really tight fit trying to get the actual sword in there but nice accessory you know it does look good and you get um a pair of fist hands you get a pair of kind of like relaxed hands and the thing i like about this they did a really nice job on the hands on his uh right hand with the wraps in the rings and it like all the way around really nice job on that and his other hand just basically has the the, the one ring on it on his thumb but really nice job on the hands and all the hands are like that you get two kind of you know just a little bit closed hands and again they got that really nice detail on the right hand with the wraps and everything you get two hands that look like they're kind of uh, made for holding the rum bottle. And then you get two more hands, which looks like, you know, for the rum bottle or for his swords or, you know, whatever other accessories you want to use. He does come with his sword, which looks good. I mean, it's pretty basic, but it's got a kind of like a dark, you know, silver color for the blade. Pretty basic, uh, you know, uh, Nice sculpt work, but the it's just basically just you know molded in the black paint, and then you get his alternate face, which is basically the same exact expression, just him looking off to the what would that be the left? But I mean, really nice job on the face, they nailed Johnny Depp. The likeness is just it's crazy, it's a miniature Johnny Depp standing in your collection as. You know, Captain Jack Sparrow from Pirates of the Caribbean. But looking over this figure, I mean, look at that head sculpt. Absolutely amazing what they, you know, the, the work they did on that. That is 100% Johnny Depp. You know, no questions asked. Really, really nice. 
I really like how he did his bandana. It looks good on his head. He did a little bit of uh, gold painting there. Now his hair is done, you know, interesting. I mean, the hair looks great. You get all his little details in here. These braids in the front are a little bit soft and they do kind of uh, get out of the way. There is a piece of hair here that's almost like pegged in. I'm afraid to pull it out, but it looks like it is just kind of pegged in there. So you could technically remove that if you wanted to. Then you come around to the back of his hair again. Really nice sculpt and paint work. This entire part right here is on a hinge. So that will hinge up and down. So that's really, really cool. These parts are soft. And then the top is, you know, pretty much hard. But, you know, really, really nice job on the way the hair looks and also how it will work to help with articulation as best as it possibly can. Now, uh, his jacket is pretty much all a soft, you know, floating piece. You get really nice sculpted work on his uh, shirt underneath here. Really nice colors with the blue. Get his little knife that comes out of here. I like that. Really nice added detail. That doesn't come out, I don't think. I didn't try really pulling on it, but... Um, yeah, I don't think that comes out. Really nice job on the belt. I mean, look at that belt. They did a great job on that belt. Really, really nice job on the belt. I love the paint that we get all throughout that. It looks so good. I mean, all of this, all, all of this right here just looks absolutely amazing. This, just the fine detail. You painted all that little down there. Get a little bit of texture, you know, all throughout the shirt. The pants again, I mean, are done really nice. Nice sculpt. Sculpted wrinkles everywhere and then down to his boots, which are pretty much plain. It'd be nice to see them like a little bit more kind of weathered or dirty. They're just kind of like that plain brown. But again, we get nice sculpt work in him. Really nice. And this jacket, the jacket looks really good. We get kind of like this darker weathering down here at the bottom. We get the sculpted work on the, you know, the pockets and everything. Even on the sleeves. I love how they did these sleeves. Really, really nice job on this entire this entire figure is just blowing me away. Really, really nice. Absolutely incredible how they how they do this. It's uh, just another look at the other side of his jacket. Let's look at this side and of the back. I mean, again, we get these nice kind of sculpted wrinkles, and we get a little bit of shading throughout the jacket, just here and there. But I just, I really like what they did with these cuffs. I mean, that's so cool how they kind of have the, you know, the undershirt and the jacket, you know, kind of cuffed up. Very, very cool. Now, as far as um, articulation goes, I mean, it's really good for what it is. Now, I mean, the head... Like I said, there is that hinge right here that, you know, allows it to look up. It is a little bit kind of like, I don't know, I'm kind of nervous really messing around with this. This part pops off pretty easily, but that's basically how you, you know, interchange the faces. But that does kind of tend to pop out as you are trying to, you know, pose the figure around, but it, it pretty much goes right back on there. But um, as far as looking up, he will look up about that much. So, I mean, really that, I mean, the hinge is nice, but it really doesn't, you know, you're not going to be able to get him looking straight up. Um, he looks down about that much. Of course, you have full rotation. And then the neck, you get, you know, the hinge as well. So, it can bring it that much looking up about that much. So, decent range looking up, really. And, of course, the neck will spin and rotate, and then you do get you know, side to side pivot as well. So nice range of movement with the head. Now, as far as the arms, you do get a little bit of a shift up and down, almost like the Nightmare Batman. This is done much better. But you do get a little uh, bit of shift down and his arm, which is a, sw a swivel and hinge, his arm will pretty much come out, you know, horizontally. That will rotate all the way around. There isn't a there's no bicep swivel, but you do get, you know, rotation around that ball and you do get forward and back. So you get like an entire, you know, 
you get shift up and down you get shift back so I don't know what's going on in that shoulder it's basically just a ball I think it's just a ball you know so but you so you get the movement all around on the peg that's going in there uh, you get pretty much a single bend at the arm but I mean it gives you 90 a little bit more than 90 degrees or pretty much you know 90 degrees and it looks good you know uh, you do get a, a swivel out of that as well the hands of course they rotate and they hinge up and down you can set it to go up and down or left and right unfortunately there isn't a lot of room because these cuffs are you know such hard plastic it's not really soft so I mean it does kind of limit the range of movement in the hands now it's basically just a double uh, double like a dumbbell peg right there so his waist you get you know nice movement all the way around uh, as far as back he'll go back about that much it is hindered by the jacket he will crunch forward a nice little bit and of course you get you know side to side pivot with that and then you get that same thing at the waist so you get full rotation you get you know more side to side pivot and you get all around oh, as you see there so it's basically just two double ball pegs let me put this back together but I mean nice range nice nice range of motion you know in the uh, waist now as far as the legs they do have a shift up and down shift it down it brings it out about that much shift it shift it down it comes back about that much um, you do have rotation thigh rotation around there single bend at the knee which brings it up about you know pretty much 90 degrees uh, that does not swivel and then as far as his boots you get rotation you get a hinge up which about gives it about that much movement hinge back a little about about that much movement and then you get a toe hinge which you know gives you that much so I mean overall I think it's absolutely fantastic really really nice job on this figure I'm very very happy to have it in my collection and as far as putting on his um, oops let's take his head off the instructions tells you to like you know take his head off put the one arm up and there you go I mean this fits on him and just you know looks great looks really good on him and as far as swapping the hands out, let me put all this back on there. Really nice and easy. I mean, there is a little bit of a tip on that, but it comes off nice and easy. Let me put another hand on here. But yeah, the hands come off really nice and easily. And as far as holding his accessories, he does hold all of his accessories really nice. Um, like I said, it, it does say in the instructions about um, rubbing the paint off. So just, you know, kind of be, be careful with that. But yeah, I mean, overall, fantastic figure. Like I said about the hat, it's basically, there's no peg, but it does fit on him really well. You just kind of got to push it down in there. I mean, it will fall off pretty easily if you, <laughs> hilariously on camera, it's not doing it. Actually, it will not fall off pretty easily. Earlier when I had it on there, it was coming off just like that. But I guess if you really push it down there, yeah, that's, that's freaking amazing. Awesome. But yeah, guys, that is the SH Figure Arts Captain Jack Sparrow. This figure is so great. Such a great figure. Um, let me give you guys a measurement. Now, and of course, this is with his hat on. He is almost like five and three quarters inches tall. And here he is with a standard, you know, not standard, but here he is with a Marvel Legends. Here's a Cyclops Marvel Legends. Whoop. Jack Sparrow went falling on me there. So there's the uh, Cyclops, just to give you a size comparison with a Marvel Legends. Here he is with the SH Figure Arts Harley Quinn. So 
I guess that's a good st scale. I mean, it look, you know, looks good to me. And then here is a uh, NECA Predator. So that gives you a little bit of a uh, size comparison as far as what Mr. Captain Jack Sparrow is going to look like on your shelf. He's going to look amazing. I mean, SH Figure Arts did such a great job with this figure. I'm so happy I got it. But yeah, that's it, guys. That is the SH Figure Arts Pirates of the Caribbean Captain Jack Sparrow figure. Go out and get yourself one. It is absolutely... If you're a Johnny Depp fan, if you're a Pirates of the Caribbean fan, if you are a pirate fan, and you're an action figure fan, this is one that you want. 100%. I totally, totally recommend it. But yeah, that is the review, guys. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next figure review.